Okay, welcome to Unit 1, Part 1, Lectures. This is Introduction to System Analysis and Design course. So this course, we, we're going to, again, concern it with how system is designed and also analyzed. So we know there's a, what, what we call the waterfall model, which normally tells us the process we should follow to develop a system. For example, we start with the analyzing. Analyzing is where we get the requirement of the system, the specifications. What should be the input of the system? What should be the output? What are the quality of the system, such as the speed, uh, survivability, maintainable, etc. These are all system analysis phase. Then after we collect all the specification of the system, we move to the design phase. This is where we are going to use tools, uh, such as a, a flow diagram or UML diagram, which stand for the Unified Modeling Language, to design the system. Uh, we are, can use something called a pseudocode to come up with the algorithm and design the system. Then from there, we move to the implementation phase, which is not beyond the scope of this course. Uh, so in this course, we're going to focus on how to analyze and also design software application systems. So our main, this is our first objective, and this is our first video. And our main objective here, what are the qualities, the attributes of a system analysis? Because we know in software engineering field, we may have a, a system to be develop, especially computer programming, uh, games, uh, let's say games or any application. But let me use games as a good example. In games, we need so many skills and specialties in that field. For example, we may need a level design. The design is going to def design different levels of the game and the complexity each stage of the game. We may need uh, maybe a skill for artificial intelligence about the behavior of the, of the objects or the characters in the game. We may also need a physics. A game physics is how the system is going to interact the objects and the items in the game, the characters, how they are going to interact. A very simple example would be a collision. If we have an object having a collision with a character, we don't want the, for example, the collision is between the wall and a, a person. We don't want the person to go through the wall or through the room. We want to see that when the person, more or less like a real life situation, when a person hit the wall, it comes back. So all these are different skills. Designers, also we know we need the audio technicians for the game. So in software engineering field, there are so many specialties. A business application, at least, we need a system analysis, software tester, and also computer programmer. So here we'll go through what a system analysis does and their skills. First, we know what is a software development life cycle. A software development life cycle is the process of determining how an information system can support business needs, also designing the system, building it, and deliver it to the users. So a software development life cycle can start with the analysis phase of the system, designing phase, then from the implementation, the building, then delivering the system. Why the system is in operation, we can also maintain it. So these are different life cycle of a, a software. The key person in the software development life cycle is the system analysis. Actually, is the one who will initiate all the beginning or starting of the work of the design. He is the one who analyzes the system situation, identify the opportunities for improvement, and design the information system to implement the improvement. So a system analysis play a key role in information system development projects. 
System analysis also work very close with all project team members so that the team develop the right system in an effective way. So system analysis must understand how to apply technology in order to solve problems. The system analysis may also serve as a change agent who identify the organizational improvement needed, design systems to implement those changes, and also train and motivate others to use the system. So from here, we can see that the system analysis skills is very broad. First, we talk about the technical. As a system analysis, you must understand the technical environment, the foundation, and also technical solution. Also, you must understand the business environment, the business operation of the system. So for example, if it's developing a system for, let's say an accounting firm or HR, as a system analysis, you must understand the process of accounting uh, operations. You must also have the analytical skills, be able to solve problems and critical thinking process. Also, you must have the interpersonal skills to be able to communicate effectively with other uh, members of the project team. You must also have, a, you must also have the management skills, be able to manage people and to manage pressures and skills, and must have an ethical background, very fair, honestly, uh, dealing with others. So a system analysis role can be a business analysis, which will focus on the information system issues surrounding the system. Also, a system analysis will focus on the business issues surrounding the system also. It can be also infrastructure analysis, which will focus on technical issues, or change management analysis, which will focus on the people and management issues surrounding the system installation. Also, a system analysis can be a project manager. Here is going to ensure that the project is completed on time and within budget, and that the system delivers the expected value to the organization. So this is the career path for system analysis. We have the entry level business function specialist or entry level programmer slash analysis. So the concept you should understand, requirement analysis can be a business analysis or system analysis as a programmer analysis or infrastructure analysis also. Within the business analysis, we can have the change management system or project manager or also software architect. Uh, this, the, the dashes is the less common path and the solid lines are the most common path. Example from entry level, from requirement analysis, it can lead to a change management system or from business analysis can be a project manager. So in summary, we just learn what a system analysis is, the skills that is needed, and also the career path for it. So in our next lecture, we, we will start into the theory and the concept of system analysis. Again, thank you for this video.